Hello guys. I am, as you can see here, I'm taping the um, wild hair kit that I ordered. It came and I thought I would do a video on it. And just as a note, this is my, I'm taping from my Ustream and there's typically a live chat going on. And and there's it's a you know it's a it's a weekend. You might hear some background noises that you're not that not that does not normally come from my streams and things like that. But anyway, I just thought I would stop by and I wanted to get because I'm kind of chomping at the bit to kind of cut the paper up. So I thought you know better get busy on getting them. So anyway, okay. Um, this um, is the little card, and I'm going to do a collage. This is a fort. I've recycled a 14 by 14 pizza box, and it's painted inside and out. And it's got like some, you know, like see, this one actually has different colors in the front. And I'm going to do a collage. And so this is where I'm going to, the idea is I'm going, this is where I'm going to store the kit set because I will be a repeat customer that's one I will be a repeat customer it might take me a while you know but I, okay now all right so all right and one thing I wanted to do real quick and I've already went through the kit and as I was going through it I realized that I was gonna have to make its own little book and I've even got, let's see down here, I'm in the process of making this little file folder booklet so that as I put different things from the kit, I can tuck them in here with little notes. And like if I find like a collage piece that I can cut out from something, then I can stick it with the paper or whatever, or the embellishment or something. But so I've got this, this is started. I haven't gotten it sewn together yet, and I'm deciding whether I want to put a, four, a fourth or a fifth one in here. Okay. And as you can see here, I kept the tape here. Oh, let me open up the. Okay. See, I. T I very carefully peeled off the the strip tape that comes on the little okay and as you can see here I also got happy mail the day that this arrived the, the day that my order arrived and this actually came in this is vintage um, vintage le ledger and I decided that I was going to turn this into my wild hair booklet. So see I have a little bit of the tape that I salvaged, did some distress ink, and then I glued it down. And I took the time. Um, back in late September, this is going to take a while because I wanted to um, let you know about the you know the style profile and that type of thing and my answers and I'll just you know okay so I knew in the third or fourth week of September that I was going oh and then did I, I don't have the other little booklet with me oh here it is I knew that I was going I had been seeing the oh this is the new kit club and things like that and I thought oh, okay this is and so I, I went over and I wrote down and this is where this started and I have this thing here this is a traveler's notebook and this was part of my um, my the my um, the other I'll call them the counterfeit kit club this was part of my September kit and so anyway I, I picked this up and I wrote down all the questions and I began to realize that this would be at the perfect way to keep information like this about um, my likes and my dislikes and you know and so I'm gonna actually maintain this and okay 
So, and I went hunting down things that I had to hunt things down. And so, yeah, from, so that's a little side little note there that if you're interested in this and you haven't done a style profile and yet you think like you're strong enough, um, and just a reminder, guys, that even though I'm not streaming technically, I'm just taping this to upload somewhere else. So I'm not going to be in chat talking with you. So just I'm letting you know. And periodically, I'll probably re-mention that. Okay. Um, so the first question was, are you, uh, are you a first-time customer or repeat? Well, of course, it was a first time. Um, the second question is regarding current trends and paper crafting and I actually chose I don't do trendy I have my tried and true style and that's what I stick to and then later on I had to let her know in another message in another box where there's a little, lot more space I said or I had the choice to tell her that I, I do new things I try new things but you know, I always tend to put my own twist to them. So anyway, that's, so that's my answer there. Um, the third was what types of embellishments do you always include on your projects? And I don't, I'm not strictly scrapbooking. So I had to really look at the other things I do. And these are the things I, um, I, the little check boxes I checked. Stickers, phrase stickers, mist inks, handmade embellies, embellishments, and then washi tape. Those are the things that if I'm glue booking, if I'm collaging, there's typically that kind of stuff in there. Okay. Then number four was let me know which em embellishments I missed. And then I just I'm one of those people who still like cork, so I wrote cork down, and then I geotags. You know, hey, I'm learning to, re I'm really learning to like geotags. Okay, and then I put clips, like binder clips, etc. Okay, then I would appreciate receiving cardstock, and they give you a yes, no, or surprise me. Well, I very definitely said yes. I um, don't always get out. I don't always get out and so you know um, it's nice to have some cardstock in the kit okay now are you this is the sixth question are there any types of embellishments that you do not want included in your kits well I wrote down what I said was nothing with the word lucky in it I'm not I don't really use the word lucky but I do have enough of those stamps that if I really did have to use the word lucky, you know, I've got enough stamps to cover that. So I did, I said that. Then here, number seven was, do you have any fave design designers or manufacturers in the crafting industry? If yes, who are they? Well, I have a few, um, but these are the ones I was able to write into the box that, um, I put down Teresa Collins and then I said some of Maggie Holmes and some of Heidi Swap. And then the number the eighth question, oh actually it wasn't a question, it was these six pictures and it gave you you chose which um whether um no, meh, feeling, you know, yeah, okay. It give you give a choice of when you look at that picture what do you think? Okay, so this is on thought number one, I put um no. Thought number two, I put um no. And thought three was meh. And then thought four, um, feeling good vibes. And then number five was um no. And then thought number six was feeling good vibe. <laughs> the question number nine, are you primarily a traditional scrapbook scrapper? Um, pocket page and these are the ones I wrote down I wrote traditional scrap scrapper um, pocket page um, scrapper art journaler travelers um, and then I 
you know, I do other things. I, you know, I do other things. Okay, the number 10 was if a traditional scrapper, do you do double pages layouts? And I still do double pages. Um, they may not always be 12 by 12, but, you know, sometimes I, you know, yeah. So I said, yes. I said, uh, here I says yes and no. It showed up as yes and no. Okay, so number 11 was how often do you craft? Well, I wrote down weekly. Um, most days I try to get something in. But I went with weekly because there are times when I may only get one or two days in per week. Then here it says, tell us about the types of projects you have coming up. This will help us to find that snazzy piece to make your heart go pitter-patter. And then it says, trust us. And then what I this is what I wrote. I am starting an album that has to do with shades of turquoise and shades of mint. And I... In parentheses I write, I've collected a lot of screenshots. Also mixing in black and white graphics, yellow ochre, and other yellows, even brown and white graphics. And then shots of silver and gold. And then the other th project I'm doing is I started um, what I call a foundation kit. That's kind of like when you want something a little girly, a little feminine. And I... I started the kit with the Heidi Swap Magnolia Jane. That's the base of the kit. And then I actually did a, I bought a six by six, one of Heidi Swap's Sugar Chic six by six to go with that. A little bit of pop of something, you know, kind of a mix of that. I don't know, <laughs> not quite feminine, but yet that funky, Thing. Anyway, so that's my found. Those are the two paper pads that I, and uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then, then here, okay. Then number 13, is there anything else that you want your curator to know? Do you hate pink? Do you adore floor paper? Paper? Do you need lots of alphas? The more we know, the better we can customize your kit. And then it says, what I wrote down was, I am not into overly cute stuff. However, there are some cute things that I, you know, that will, you know, catch my attention. And then I have to like, I have to deliberate whether I buy them or not. Um, okay. Then I says, some of my fave paper lines are Marion Smith Wild Heart Collection. I never was able to find any of that. I was never able to get any of it, but... I use it as an example because even after all this time, I still like the look of it. So I use that as an example. Then I wrote down Kaiser Craft, the Pickled Pear collection, then Tim Holtz, Wallflower. And of course, this is, I have others, but right this, this time, this is what I wrote down. Then I can always find pink. I always find room. What I wrote was I always find room for pink. Um... And then I said, keep, and I put the CS, meaning cardstock, to light shades and neutrals. And then I made a note that I had seen Mercy Tierra's um, kit that she had received. And I noticed these bright bows and these half wool, the wool half circles. Well, okay. Well, you'll find out. Well, I'll just tell you now. They were sold out of those two items because uh, I wouldn't use them for scrapbooking. But when I saw them, I go, oh, that might be kind of cool for like tucking into weaving projects and things like that. And that's what I wrote down here about the weaving. And then, um, okay, yeah, so that's, and then, okay, so that's where... So that's the, I do, I'm, you know, not too bad, 14 minutes. Okay, so now get into the kit. Yay, I'm going to open up the box. So hold on, let me, well, okay. Well, okay. The flap of this thing might get cut. Well, as you know, most of you know that I like to recycle. And some of you might shake your head on this. But the plastic bag that it came in, it was a little, it was a little mergulated, but as you can see, I've started repairing it. 
I've started repairing it. I know, I know. But hey, that's just me. Hey. Okay, anyway. Now, having the detailed response to this, okay, I'm trying to get the flap of my camera. My, yeah, this, this little flap here. Let me just take out the, the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6. Oh, and she has a little thingy. I wanted you to note, um, where is it? I'm making noise. Where is it? All right, just relax. There we go. Okay, now. Down here, it says here, yes, yes, I like my kit. Um, okay, now it says here that we are out of stock of the bright, I think they were the Amy, Amy Tangerine. Um, they were really bright, and the wool hat, they were out of those. But she substituted some other bows, and she was focusing on the turquoise pieces because of what I said of the, about the matching color scheme, about the screenshots the turquoise and mint project that I have going and then she found papers with the pinks the golden yellows turquoise and then of course she cork okay so okay okay so ooh, and then I'm like okay so this is the 12 by 12 paper now I've never um, I think it's the pink fresh who does that indigo hill indigo hill collection that would have that was one of those that uh-huh but see because I'm not a tr I don't go for the trends I don't always keep track of things okay so here this is a pink fresh and it's um escape the ordinary and it's called chase this particular piece piece of paper and I'm like oh um one of the things I haven't had a chance to mention on the profile of course some point but just as a my first thought was, okay, um, but then I thought this could actually be um, like a mid-century modern. This could actually, I could work it, okay. And then I was busy looking and I forgot to look on the back. And then I turned this over here and I go, ooh, mid-century modern. So now it's like, okay, I have to like, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, what can I do? What can I do? And this is about the time when I realized I, this is going to have to have its own little book. And it's going to, this is going to tell its, yeah, it's going to have its own little story here. So then I'm going to have to like figure out this here so that I can turn this around and I can use this for collage for like my home decor and stuff. This is fit in mid-century modern. It's, it's green. It's like a hunter green on white. See, it's all like little dashes. I'm like going, uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, I had to stop and do a little bit of, you know. Okay. I don't have enough room to spread them all out. Okay, so here, then the here, and I go. Ooh, this is pink paisley. Turn the page number five, and I was going. Ooh, this is kind of cool too. This is again. Um, this will actually, this could actually work in some of the turquoise mint, depending on. Because part of what I'm trying to develop in the in this turquoise and mint is is how can I turn can I take the turquoise and mint and bring it in other colors to it? So this I could do this, or this could just be again for like home decor collage for mid-century modern. But then I turned it over. And I'm not absolutely one. I like stars, but this could be used as a background. Maybe I would have to really think this. But then I got to thinking, turn it over like this, and if I really wanted to, I could turn it into like like for a planner or something. I could turn this like a little, or I could even put this inside this little thing over here that I showed earlier. I could do something. I could do something in here like this, add it into this to hold smaller things, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah. So they all, that works. I'm totally happy. This, I'm like, oh wow, in your face. Wow. This is, um, 
Pink Fresh and Boys Fort, and this is You Rule. And yeah, it's words. Like, kind of cool. I, I've got a few things I could be doing. And the one thing I got to realizing, too, is that where this all kind of goes together, I don't have, because I'm not, I'm not a design team, I don't have to stay within this, this kit. I can, I can add to it, you know, yeah. Now, here's the back of this, which, you know, it's okay. It's a good neutral. It's a good basic thing. Um, but this is probably where I'll be focusing somehow in this stuff here on this side oh and this one this is actually uh, actually I happen to like the Hazelwood collection I like the overall look of it and I'm like oh I like this here I'm like oh okay I've seen this and I kind of yeah but then I flipped it over and for those of you who know me you know I'm into houndstooth <laughs> so and I'm like, okay, well, let's see. Um, I could maybe, because I'm learning to love butterflies, I could cut this out and use it in a collage. And then the globe, and then this over here. I like this this 4 by 6 here. And then the rest of it could just be, yeah. Uh -huh. This one is Echo Park and... If I have Echo Park paper, I don't know that I have Echo Park. Again, I don't follow the trends. And I was sitting here, and I'm like, okay, what could I, you know, I like arrows. And, you know, color-wise, it's, you know, you know, it's doable. And then, this is actually creative Caitlin Schaefer agenda, Echo Park. Okay. Then I turned it over. And... Okay, it's a light green. This could actually go potentially into the turquoise mint if I'm, as I take it, one of the screenshots and see, well, this is the way this person did it. But, you know, how can I, you know, yeah. And I, yeah, so this works. Yeah, so I'm like, uh -huh. Okay, now... this I like the floral and technically it could be used as a like what one of the design seams says this is like a neutral she even though it's got pattern paper this could be a neutral I like the strip here and then I turned it over and I go I like this better I like this better in fact I'm even one of the reasons why I'm like chomping at the bit because I'm gonna cut into this because I want to put it I want to put it on here as part of the collage. Yeah, I really like this. And this is actually the one canoe two creek side. This is cozy plaid. And I guess this is the side B. Yeah. So I will probably cut off about an inch and a half and do a border on that of some kind, one of my border punches. So, cause I do like the arrow here, but I will probably predominantly use this. I might, tr I might just because I can do it, I can take like a little bit of here and put it with this too. We'll see, okay? And then, because I said yes to cardstock, I got this, what's it called? It's patina, which, oh yeah, I like patina. And then the piece, this doesn't have a, let's see, the little, um, little note thing. One moment, please. It said here, um, come on, geyser. It's called, this green is called geyser. And this is called patina. Yeah. So, uh-huh. I'm happy. Then, oh, then the 6x6, by 6x6, six, six by six, um, it says here, how did it describe it? Hold on. 
Let's see here. Okay, come on, six by six. Where are you? Here. It says escape the ordinary six by six pad. So I'm assuming that's where these six pieces of paper came from. And look at that. that ooh, yummy. Oh, and guys, I'm just telling you. I have this thing. I need to have where they, yeah, this is the top. Because I feel the little glue ridge. I ha Yeah, they have to be up. Oh, this is one of those little quirky things. Look at that. Beautiful. This, guys, is going to be part of, this as is, is going to be part of a collage for something around the house. It's just, hey, um, yeah, that's it's going to be part of a collage of some kind. And then look at this, guys. Oh, yummy. Look at that. Uh-huh. This looks like it's a kind of a black, it looks like it's a navy blue, but it almost kind of looks, well, I, well, I don't know, it could be distressed, but it almost, this one here looks like it's almost got a, a bit of a black to it. But I would probably overall say this is black and white, but look at that, that's cool. And then we have just this pink, this light pink, and then we have the little, this thing here. This will go good with the, um, this might be working with the turquoise and mint because part of that too is seeing how when you incorporate green, shades of green into it, how does the turquoise and mint go with it? You know, that type of thing. This could also be good for my foundation kit. Yeah. So yeah. So that's the paper. Okay, now, um, I already took, this is where the clips came on. It's the Creekside binder clips, and they're all loose inside the box here. One moment while I get them out. <laughs> Let me just put them over here on the... Let's see. Okay, here's the binder clips. See, binder clips. And then again, as you can see, I've taken the packaging I've and I'm already starting to play with it so that I can clip these back on. But I wanted something, I'm going to do some stamping on it, that type of thing. And that way I can just see. I can just, and they just, yeah, and I'll put other clips with them. And I'll just stick them like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, and then they can just hang there and they'll be pretty while I'm not using them. And then when I'm using them, they'll still be pretty. But this way, they're not stuck away. I can just stick them onto my... I can stick them onto a hook and they can hang from my shelving. Yeah. Let's see, yeah, eight pieces. So that's six, seven, eight. Yeah, so they're, yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. And then this, I'm not even going to try. Just, I'm, you know. Um, but I, I said word phrases, so yeah, word phrases. I got that really nice, oily. Now, did I put them back in here for when I, yes, I did put them back in here. Okay. Let me get the other stuff out of my box. And then, of course, this, this little yellow, it went blurry on me. Oh, well. This little yellow and white twine came in this little packaging. And, of course, th those of you, I do keep the packaging and I reuse it. Okay, here are the little bows. And I don't think I've ever had Bella Boulevard. So, let me take them out. 
I know. Okay. So, and I love the the little gray taupey one. But see here, I've got I've got the different. Yeah. So those will work, and then I have a kind of a cadet navy blue. So this will be yeah. Now I can see them. Like for instance, I'll show you real quick what I'm what I'm working on here is this little weaving, this little weave I've got going, see here, and this I've put some, um, yeah, so see here, and I can, oh, where are they, see, I can see these, one of these, or maybe a couple of them, I can see them tucked into here somehow, there, okay, so there's that. Then of course, look at this cork geotags. Yeah, and I'm not trying to take those out because they're static. Got they have static to them, and yeah, I'm not gonna want to be trying to pick them up. Okay. Then I have this enamel pins, Creekside one canoe two, and these can because these will find its way. Not so much on scrapbooking, but I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. They they will definitely get used. And then here, look at this, guys. And I thought this is I like these. They're pla they call pla we are memory the high five. We are memory keepers plastic buttons, and they're, again they're yeah. They're things I can put on, yeah, just they're all over. In fact, I could even, if I could even maybe put one of the bows, I could put one of the bows, and then I could put one of these. You know? Yeah, somehow in, as I weave, as I weave. So, you know, yeah, kind of cool. And then, of course, these might also work with the, the um within the turquoise and mint project you know because i'm in like i i told you i i what i wrote in the in my answer for the yeah because i'm adding ochres and yellows and stuff inside so this would be also good for that and then oh guys and i saw one of the uh, design team when I was looking at um, her November kit that she received, and I'm like, ooh, 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 and look at this washi, washi, washi tape. I'm excited. Yeah, I took it out because I was film. I took a picture of it, but look at see, and I already used some of it. <laughs> yeah, so I already used, and this is a washi tape. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm like chomping at the bit. Let's get going. Now see this right here, this washi tape. This and let's see, this is by um Jen Hatfield Homemade Collection. Okay. Um I wouldn't mind having three or four of these, you know, buying three or four of these. That's how much yeah, they're gonna get used. Yeah, they will definitely get, and, yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yep, I'm excited. Some of this actually might show up in my um, counterfeit kit. Kit this month. So, yeah, I'm like, okay. All right, so, I know, a little bit unusual, but we're... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. And oh yeah, I'm 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 totally happy with what I got. Yeah, my brain's kind of like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm gonna move on to the. Okay, you know, I'm moving on. Let's see what kind of, you know. So, all right. Well, I'll see you. Bye. And yes, for those people, just. 
for those people, I see nine people in the chat that I don't know who it is specifically. But anyway, hi and bye. Love you.